In this video lecture, we are going to learn about Habian learning rule. This question comes out to be in December 2017 paper. Now, in this case, the learning signal, which I explained you in a in a detailed manner in my previous video lecture. If you have not done that, please revise those video lecture first. So, learning signal is denoted by R. So, learning signal in Habian learning rule is equivalent to the neurons output. That means how you compute your neurons output based on the weighted values and the input values. When you multiply and when you sum up all those values, then only you will be getting an output value from that particular neuron. So, your learning signal is totally based on this particular formula only. Now, the this is the learning signal. Now, your learning signal journal formula is C, R and X. Now, based on this, you can evaluate the incremented weight value of the weight vector, which should, which will be become C constant, X is for the input and this part is for the learning signal. So, you have put this particular learning rule over here between C and X, that means the constant and the input values, which has been always given to you. Now, the main important point in this case is learning requires weight initialization at small random values. That means every time you have to start initializing your weight values by giving any number of random values to, to the as an input to the network. So, sometimes these network values as a computation for this is given to you. Otherwise, you can take as per the matrix evaluation any number of values over here. But it always good to start from the small by taking the small number of values. Okay, now this uh, Habian learning rule is as you can derive from this formula that there is no role of desired output. That means there is no D given over here in the entire formula. So this network is totally based on the unsupervised learning or unsupervised training. So Habian learning rule is totally based on the unsupervised training where the network actually uh, adapt itself. So the overall output is actually depends on the overall computation of this neurons output response only not any supervised or the desired output is given in this case so that you can match your actual output with the desired output there is no such case it is a totally unsupervised learning now in this with this uh, with this uh, paper in december 2017 the another algorithm which comes in 10 marks is of winners take all now winners take all learning rule is actually a competitive learning rule and it comes under again the unsupervised learning method and the main thing is that the output neurons of a neural network, as the name says, winners take all. So the, the output response of the neural network compete among themselves to become active. Now, in this case, as you can see here, the neural network structure, when you provide the number of inputs to the network, somehow there are some number of input values which are actually higher than the previous number of or the next number of input values. So, when you compute that particular response, one of them will be considered as a winning neuron. So, you can mark it as a winning neuron in this case. So now when you mark it as a winning neuron, the, the overall evaluation is totally based on this particular winner neuron. That means the weight would be updated according to the value of this winning neuron only. Now in this case, you have to evaluate the weighted values based on the maximum of winning neuron. That means based on the maximum neuron response. Now in this case, you have to maximum values identify karni hai. Aapko weighted that means incremented weight values identify karni hai. Toh incremented weight values ke liye aap phir se journal learning rule ka use karenge. Usme aapka formula hota tha C, R and X. Jaisa mein aapko abhi piche bhi bataya. In case of Habian learning rule. Ki C, R, X ka hum yaha pe use kis tarikhe se karenge. Hum apne learning signal ko yaha par bol rahe hai. Learning signal humara equivalent to aajata hai alpha. Which, is, which comes out to be a constant. Then aapke paas aajata hai input as a input values and WM is the maximum weighting winning neuron. That means, this means that you have provided the input values here and on the basis of input values, your neuron won the competition. That means, the competition won the competition for the input values. You consider both of the values and you consider the next neuron. That means, when you will remove W2, you will remove it on this basis. You will remove it on these two winning neurons. You will remove it on this basis. अगर ये फॉर्मूला आप उस केस में यूज करेंगे जब आपका न्यूरॉन विन करेगा बट ये फॉर्मूला आप उस केस में नहीं यूज करेंगे जब आपका न्यूरॉन जो है वो लूज करेगा दैट मीन्स ओनली द इन केस ऑफ विनिंग न्यूरॉन योर वेट्स विल बी अपडेटेड 
so you have to remember this particular formula for this case and you have to understand it that what are these uh, maximum winning neurons and what is the input values which has been providing for this particular neuron to compute thank you